you know, a lot of times uh, we overthink things. And you know, when it comes to getting together, it's about, you know, being together, laughing, yep. right? Enjoying a good time. Yep. And, and um, it really comes down to the most simple of pleasures and the most humble of pleasures, yep. right? A, and uh, a, a plastic plate of good food. A plastic plate of good food yeah. sitting out on the patio, being with your friends, with your family, and, and whatever. It could be Italian style, it could be Spanish style, but yeah. it's being together and yeah. sharing, you know, what happened in the week uh, yeah. or, or yesterday or today or what's going to happen tomorrow. Right. And um, it doesn't matter what you're drinking. Right. Right. It's always something humble. Yep. The wine you were drinking wasn't really a bragging thing. Never has you know, been. It was just this except is, Christmas. Except Christmas. <laughs> Chris, Christmas is is the gold uh, gold label, and we brag. You right. Know, that's, right. You're thirty bottles, and that's right. it. but the rest of the year, uh, it is a very approachable, humble. I don't want to wake up tomorrow morning and feel like ah oh, shit, I can't have another backyard party because it cost me a fortune. You know, we drank thirty five bottles of wine right. at nineteen bucks a pop. Right. Ouch. You know, that's why this wine to me is so nostalgic and so important. Yeah. And we stumbled upon it, and, and, and we come to find out that it's, it genuinely is a great glass of wine. Yeah. So we've been drinking really well for all these years, yep. uh, and, we've had, we've been, and we've had a lot of good times, yeah. and that bottle's been a part of that. Let's uh, get into it. it. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Cheers. What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Friday, and welcome to Liquor Run. I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and you are... Roly from Theo and Harris. For those of you who don't know, uh, Monday through Thursday, and then on the weekends, we talk watches here at Theo and Harris. Omega, Rolex, and all those other brands. But on Friday, we wear watches and talk about wine. We talk wine. Because it's Friday, and, and we're drinking. And we always drink value wines. We drink value props. So <laughs> the same way that I think that a Datejust 1601 represents a ton of value, you think today that, what is this? Protocolo from Spain. Brings a lot of value. Can a wine so inexpensive marry with drinkability? Yeah. The answer will be yes. How much money? Six dollars. Six bucks. All right. So <laughs> we're drinking real cheap wine today. So uh, so let's do a quick wristwatch check and let's go into it. What are you wearing? I got the old lady on today. Which really matches your shirt pretty well. Who knew? The pink bezel's looking yeah. awesome, looking fresh. I'm wearing uh, uh, a Datejust. Okay. With a uh, matte uh, brown, almost like a Havana brown yeah, uh, nice. Buckley dial. Yeah, that's Butterscotch. faded out. Yeah. And uh, it's beautiful, presidential bracelet and a whole bit. So we're both rocking a little Rolex yep. today. Uh, Rolex, Rolex fam strong. All right, let's get into the wine. So we've talked about Spanish wines in the past. Mm -hmm. Spain has more land under vine than any other country in the world. Right. But they're not the biggest producer of wine. Okay, I didn't okay. know that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they also produce a lot of uh, olive oil mm -hmm. is it, that's produced in, in Spain. It mm -hmm. sometimes goes under the name of Greek uh, olive oil, and, but, but, it's that's it, but it's different, Spanish. It's different Spanish. Story, story it's Spanish are doing it. But I grabbed this bottle because I've been having, I've been drinking this bottle, uh, this, this, this uh, Protocolo for years. Mm -hmm. And when I first started drinking this bottle, it was about four bucks a bottle, and it's crept up. Uh, to you should have bought a bunch. Bucks. And it, depending on where you go, you know, sometimes you'll get it eight dollars, six ninety nine, seven ninety nine. But even at even at eight dollars, it's still a pretty good still buy. Pretty good but at six dollars, this thing is a steal. Right. What makes it What makes it so good? Yeah. It's 100% uh, Tempranillo, which is the the Rioja grape, and and, and, and which goes into Rioja. Um, the vines, 30 to 50 years old, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit older. Um, the family, they've owned this vineyard since 1991. Okay. They not only make this simple wine, table wine, mm -hmm. but they make outstanding higher level wines. Mm -hmm. uh, Codice, uh, Sierra Cantabria. So they go all the way up. They go all the way up. Nice. They know how to do it, but they don't forget their roots. This is a humble wine. Cool. But, but boys are good. I'm looking forward to getting into it. Let's do it. Let's, Let's crack it do open. It. Okay, so what are you expecting on the nose, or what are you what are you seeing actually? First, let's start off with there. It's it's a it's a mid color. It's it's not it's not light like a Pinot Noir. Right. It's not definitely not Cabernet like either. Right. right? You, you can see through it. Yep. It's got a nice red berry color. Okay. Okay. And uh, what are you expecting the nose? Again, actually, a lot of fresh fruit in okay. this in this wine, and this is unmistakable. So it's a it's a it's 2014. Okay. It's relatively young. Okay. Uh. uh yeah. I, I smell a little, maybe even a little smokiness on, on this wine, but but f f fresh red berries is the most pronounced uh, scent that I that I pick up. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. I like this wine. Yeah, so do I. It's it's really good. I mean, it has nice backbone. It's got good acidity. 
It has definitely has fruit. Yeah. And it has that smokiness that I smelled before. It definitely it does, has. It does have a smokiness. It does. It yeah. does. This wine, I think it's just, a, it's just a really, really good example of a humble wine. It's at my grandfather's house, uh, and he was drinking Cola Rossi. And, you know, it's, 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 it's nostalgic to have a glass of it, but Jesus is bad. Yeah. Um, this is, although equally as humble, much more refined, much more drinkable. Once again, I'll drink a bottle of Carl Rossi right now just because I'm, you know, uh, I'm a college kid almost, yeah. you know, or just recently. Yeah. But still, uh, you can just, you just know immediately. Well, it's much more well-rounded, much more tasty. It is, it is. And to, to, to think that for six, seven bucks, you can get a bottle like this yep. at the liquor store is just an incredible find. Yep. Right, again, it, this wine will usually sit at the bottom of the shelving. So for me, it's probably the best value wine that I've ever had. Cool, awesome. Uh, one, what do we eat this with? Wow, well remember this wine comes from like the Rioja region. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of meat there, uh, uh, also some game, but Cochinillo, man. Let's Cochinillo. have some baby young suckling pig. Really delicious. You know, Fa uh, like a family, beautiful. A family pit. You know what I mean? Beautiful. This is the beautiful. kind of wine that if you are so inclined <laughs> to, you know, kill a baby pig, yeah. put them on a, on a spit and dig a hole and all that stuff, this is a great wine, I think, to crack open with the family because not only is it good, it's going to complement the food and it is very inexpensive. So that, and I love that. I mean, you guys know, you guys know how much I love, although I, it sounds kind of funny, I'm wearing a solid gold, you know, vintage Rolex, it's just, but really, uh, I am very much so about approachability. You know, I, I just happen to be able to wear stuff like this. But at the end of the day, uh, most of my life is driven by finding stuff that everyone can really enjoy. A very kind of like, you know, widely acceptable and enjoyable kind of thing. And this, this is exactly that. Absolutely. So we've done it a few times, right? I mean, more than a few times where we will we'll have this bottle of wine. Yep. Uh, we'll have a great dinner, a great meal. We're hanging out. Uh, we uh, we share stories. We laugh. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not pretentious. It's yep. about being together. Yep. This wine does it, and it yep. does it with class. Yeah, I think so too. One thing I want to bring up is the back label, Jorge Ordonez. Oh, wouldn't you know? Wouldn't it? you know? If you guys have watched Liquor Run before, uh, yeah. we've gone into Spanish wines. Uh, when when we found yeah. from my dad, when Jorge Ordonez is on the label, when he's the one that company's one that's importing these wines, uh, that really stands for a stamp of quality. That maybe it's not your your favorite wine because it's not your style but it's going to be quality, right? They stand for quality, and you've made that very clear. Absolutely. Uh, Jorge Ordonez is, to me, uh, one of the most important Spanish figures in, in wine today, the, the, the most important uh, Spanish ambassador, probably the first one mm -hmm. that really began to teach us here in America uh, the diversity and the quality of Spanish wine awesome. post-Franco era. How cool is that, right? Fantastic. Awesome. Dad, I love this wine. Six bucks. Eat it with some pig. Eat it with some meats. Uh, have fun with your family. Because yes. six bucks, you can buy a bunch of bottles and not feel bad you're cracking open a last one. So uh, that's it. Thank you so much. Again, let's pour you an extra glass. Thank you guys for, for tuning in on this Friday, uh, watching this week's Liquor Run and uh, my dad's wine pick. It's Protocolo uh, Vino de la Tierra de Castilla. Castilla. So uh, it's Ole. reported by Jorge Ardoñez and enjoy. Adiós. Adiós.